Our motoring tip of the week concerns McPherson struts. Now, when you hear the term McPherson strut, you're talking about a specific type of suspension. It was developed by a guy named Earl S. McPherson back in 1946. But this suspension design that he came up with was adopted by many, many car manufacturers and is used today on an awful lot of makes and models of cars. It's very popular. It saves a lot of space in the engine bay because it doesn't require an upper control arm. This is a McPherson strut that I replaced a few months back on this particular Chrysler minivan. And they do last a long time, but eventually, like every part, you can wear it out. Now, in this case, this van developed some pretty voluptuous ride motions where it would just float around quite a bit. Replacing both struts tightened up the front end. You'd go over bumps, it would settle down immediately, and it just rides and handles and feels much better going down the road. Now, these units are much beefier than the old shock absorber that they replaced, so they incorporate the shock absorber into a stressed member of the suspension. The coil spring mounts over top, and when we go in and look at this McPherson strut installed back in the vehicle, you'll see the coil spring, and you'll see all the attaching points where it bolts to the knuckle right here and bolts into the upper body area of the vehicle right here. So by controlling the ride and keeping a nice tight ride to the vehicle, you reduce what we call tire scrub, which is the tires being dragged back and forth across the road. And that happens every time the suspension travels from its full upper point to its lower point, you get a bit of tire scrub and that increases tire wear. So a new set of struts will reduce tire scrub, increase your tire life, and it also actually reduces braking distance because it prevents the tendency of the vehicle to nosedive under heavy, heavy braking. That's your motoring tip of the week.